Hello everyone, our lesson today is talking about polygons in the coordinate plane. Classifying polygons in the coordinate plane. How to classify the polygons? We will use three formulas. Let's remember that uh, the formulas that we studied before, like the distance formula, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared under the square root. We will use this distance formula to determine whether sides are congruent or the diagonals are congruent to find the length of the diagonal or the length of the sides. The midpoint formula adding the x coordinates dividing by 2 and adding y coordinates and dividing by 2 this is the midpoint formula we will use it to determine the coordinates of the midpoint of a side or to find the to check if the two diagonals bisect each other or not finally the third formula slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 we will use this formula to de to determine whether the opposite sides are parallel or uh, the two sides for example perpendicular the two diagonals perpendicular like that Let's check if the given triangle scalene isosceles or equilateral. To check if this is scalene isosceles or equilateral, then we need to find the length of each side. Let's find the length at the first using distance formula. The length of uh, the side R S. Then x2 minus x1 squared 3 minus negative 4 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared 3 minus 1 squared then the length of r s equal root 53 or about 7.28 let's find the length of uh, the side st using the same formula we will get that the length of st equal root 40 is about 6.32 and the third side the length of the third side rt this using the same formula distance formula we will get that the length of rt equal root 41 or about 6.4 since the three lengths the three sides of this triangle all of them are different not the same length then the triangle is scalene triangle is a parallelogram a b c d rhombus explained to check if this string, this uh, quadrilateral or this parallelogram is a rhombus, then we have to check the length of the four sides. If we found that the four sides are congruent, then this is rhombus. And also if we found the two diagonals perpendicular using the slope, as you know, if the slope of the two diagonals opposite reciprocal, then the two diagonals perpendicular. Let's check the slope of the two diagonals using the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 let's find the slope of uh, the side cd 3 minus negative 5 is uh, 3 plus 5 over negative 2 minus 4 then 8 over negative 6 this equal negative 4 over 3 Let's find the slope of the other diagonal AB using the same formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Then 2 minus negative 4 is 2 plus 4 over 5 minus negative 3 is 5 plus 3. Then the slope is 6 over 8 or 3 over 4. Since we have uh, opposite reciprocal, the two slopes, the slope of the two sides, opposite reciprocal, their product negative 1, then the two diagonals perpendicular, then uh, the parallelogram ABCD is rhombus. What is the most precise cl classification of the quadrilateral formed by connecting the midpoints of the sides of the isosceles trapezoid? Here we have isosceles trapezoid. Let's check what is the what is the figure that created after connecting the midpoints of the four sides. Then 
let's find the midpoint of each side using the midpoint formula x1 plus x2 over 2 y1 plus y2 over 2 then let's find the midpoint of uh, the side ol then negative 3 plus negative 4 over 2 3 plus negative 2 over 2 this is x coordinates divided by 2 and uh, adding y coordinates and divided by 2 then the midpoint of the side ol this equal negative 3.5 and 0 0.5 the midpoint of the side nm by adding x coordinates 3 plus 4 divided by 2 and y coordinates 3 plus negative 2 divided by 2 then the midpoint of the side nm is 3.5 0 0.5 similarly we will find the midpoint of the side lm using the same formula we will get the midpoint is 0 negative 2 and also the midpoint of nm using the same idea the midpoint is 0 3 after plotting the midpoints of the of all the sides and connecting all of them the question is what is the most the most precise classification of the quadrilateral this quadrilateral that created or formed by connecting the midpoints that we calculated what is this quadrilateral to check what is the precise classification of this quadrilateral that formed by connecting the midpoints let's check at the first the side length let's use the distance formula to check if the sides the same length or not if the sides congruent or not like that using the distance formula y2 x2 minus uh, minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared using this formula we will find the length of the side or s 0 minus negative 3 is 0 plus 0 minus negative 3.5 is 0 plus 3.5 squared plus negative 2 minus 0 0.5 squared all of that under the square root then the length of r s is 4.3 Using the same formula, we will find the length of RQ x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared under the square root. Then the length of RQ also equal 4.3. Similarly, we will use the same formula to find the length of uh, SP. We will get that the length of SP equal also equal 4.3. The same as PQ the length equal about 4.3 since the four sides all of them are congruent then we have one of two quadrilaterals maybe square or rhombus because both of them they have all the sides all, all of them are congruent then to differentiate between the square or rhombus let's check the angles between the sides because the square the angles all of them are right angles the two consecutive sides perpendicular but the rhombus is not let's check using the slope between two consecutive sides to check if they are perpendicular if they are making right angles or not let's use the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 the slope of rs y2 minus y1 0 0.5 minus 2 over negative 3.5 minus 0 we will get that the slope of rs equal negative 0 0.714 the slope of the other side that uh, is consecutive to this one rq the slope is also y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 we will get that rq equal about 0 0.714 since the two sides they are not opposite reciprocal their product not equal negative one then the two sides not perpendicular then the figure not square this is rhombus thank you for listening and have a nice day